celebration we've, we've gathered for, and we're real excited and um, just really excited for what God is doing in your lives, and it's a joy to share this wonderful occasion and milestone in your life and in this next chapter and what God is doing, and um, I know that Dwayne, was, he was in a rush. He went, we almost had to win without you. This <laughs> so I don't know if it was because... He, he's hungry, he can't wait for the honey one, but he's ready. He's ready, so we're excited to be here. And so we are, this is exciting because God has ordained the whole institution of marriage and family and the whole idea of covenant, and that's what marriage is. And so um, let me just give you, a, just reach you the understanding of the purpose of, of this covenant. Beloved, we are gathered together here today to celebrate a day of gratitude, gladness, and joy. It is one of life's greatest miracles when two people love each other so much that they're willing to commit their lives together as one in spirit. The ability to love is a miraculous gift which God has given us, and a wedding is a celebration of that gift. Today we have been invited to share and to rejoice with Duane and Lisa as they affirm their wedding vows with one another and to pledge our unconditional love and support to them as they begin their journey as husband and wife. Marriage is a gift that ought not to be entered into lightly. We as Christians recognize marriage as a symbol of Christ's love for his bride, the church. It was at a wedding where Jesus performed his first miracle. Therefore, Duane and Lisa's, Lisa had invited Jesus not only into their hearts some years ago, but to their wedding and furthermore into their marriage. And, and that's, that's the joy about today because one thing I can tell you from having spoken to this couple from months ago uh, is that for them it was never about the wedding was always about the marriage, and that's the blessing that we uh, look forward to continue to be with upon you. And in light of that, usually at a wedding, um, parents a parent will give um, a, a bride away or give their blessing. But uh, today we're going to do something special. We're going to ask the children just to stand, all children from both sides just to stand. And, and all we're going to ask you to do today, because you are such an important part of your parents' lives, is that we're going to ask you to give your blessing to your parents as they move forward in the next chapter of their life, that you will uh, give them your blessing and support them. And if you will, just simply say, I will. I I will. will. Thank you. You may be seated. That's the moment you will give us our invitation. Let us all pray. Father God, we thank you, God, for this couple here today. We thank you that we are gathered in your presence, Father, asking you to... Lord, bless this couple. We pray, Father, that your hand would be on them. Lord, we invite your spirit here, Lord God. We invite you, Lord Jesus Christ, we invite you in this ceremony, in the midst, Father God, knowing that, Lord, it was at the first wedding, at a wedding that you performed the first miracle. And so today we ask for that same miracle, Lord God, a miracle to be performed, even in this couple and in their lives forevermore. In Jesus' name, amen. 1 Corinthians 13 says, If I speak in tongues of men and angels but have not love, I'm only a resounding gong or a plain and symbol. If I have the gift of prophecy and can fathom all mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have a faith, have faith that can move mountains but have not love, I am nothing. If I give all I possess to the poor and surrender my body to the flames but have not love, I gain nothing. Love is patient and love is kind. It does not envy it does not boast. It is not proud. It is not rude. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, and always perseveres. Love never fails. But where there are prophecies and fables cease, and where there are tongues, they will be stilled. Where there is knowledge, it will pass away. For we know in part, and we do prophesy in part, but when perfection comes, the imperfection disappears. When I was a child, I talked like a child, and I thought like a child, and I reasoned like a child. When I became a man, I put away childish ways behind me. Now we see but a poor reflection as in a mirror, and then we will see face to face. Now I know in part, and then I shall fully know, and even as I am fully known. And now these three remain, faith, hope, and love, but the greatest of these is love. Amen. 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 With that in mind, Dwayne, face, Lisa, we will move to the wedding vows portion of today's ceremony. Dwayne, do you promise to live with Lisa according to God's purposes? Do you promise to commit yourself to meeting her needs, 
physical, emotional, and spiritual? Do you promise that whatever the circumstances, you will love, honor, and sustain her, and that as long as you both shall live, you will be faithful to her? If so, would you please say, I do? I do. Lisa. Do you promise to live with Dwayne according to God's purposes? Do you promise to commit yourself to meet his needs, physical, emotional, and spiritual? Do you promise that whatever the circumstances, you will love, honor, and sustain him, and that as long as you both shall live, you will be faithful to him? If you so promise, say, I do. I do. In my hand, I have rings that belong from one person being given to the opposite one. And one of the reasons why we use rings as a symbol of covenant is because it reminds us of two very important truths. The first uh, truth that we see in a ring is that it's a circle, and a circle never ends. And the same way that this circle ends is the same blessing we impart, we believe God for, and we covenant together with you, that the love that you share, the union that you have together, will not end. The second thing is that these rings are made of precious metal. And precious metals, over time, uh, have the unique characteristic of becoming more valuable, of getting better. Even if it goes through fire, it just gets purified and becomes better. And our prayer for you today, and our covenant with you today, is that your relationship will be better and better. It will go from glory to glory, faith to faith, and strength to strength. All right. So we're going to take the ring, rings, and if you put it on Lisa's ring finger and say, with this ring, I be with. I had some word of prayer. That's the one I want you to bless. Father God, we thank you. Yes. Lord, we are coming, Lord, affirming, and Lord God, we've been dedicating this couple thank you, Jesus. back to you. Father, we thank you for, mm. Lord, creating them, Lord God, to become one flesh. Yes, we are asking for your hand over their lives, mm. Lord, over their families, over their children. We thank you for blessing them, Lord God, mm. that, Lord, every day will be a blessed day, that thank your you favor Jesus. and your prosperity will be on them, Lord, every day of their lives, that yes. they will continue to grow, thank Lord God, you. in you, and they will continue to serve you yes. with all of their heart and their soul and mind, that their marriage, Lord God, will get better and better every day. Yes. Father, we are thankful for what you're doing in these lives, or yes. even as they live for your purposes, in Jesus' name. Amen. Yes. Join hands with you. This should look good. I can't get us good. I got to give you my little marriage test so you understand <laughs> that nobody is to come between you. Nothing is a separation. And so we stand and agree with that because God has joined you together. So, for as much as Dwayne and Lisa have covered in together in marriage and have declared the same before God and in the presence of this company, I now pronounce you husband and wife in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Therefore, when God is joined together, let not man put asunder. You may switch your rock. <laughs> <laughs> The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift his countenance upon you and give you peace. Ladies and gentlemen, for the first time, I'd like to pronounce Mr. and Mrs. Dwayne Christopher Woodard.